Welcome to Pay to Play Impressions for Ninja Gaiden Black. It's a game that came out on Xbox in 2005. Tecmo was a publisher and uh, Ninja, Team Ninja was a developer. The game is also available on uh, Xbox 360. Well, you can play the, Xbox, the game on Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Xbox Series consoles. So with each console, you're gonna get uh, the game running at higher resolutions. And it usually runs better in terms of it, it stays at 60 FPS more or less consistently when it runs on the better consoles. Now, the game itself is also a, uh, is a spectacle fighter. Now, let's go into options. Uh, we're just going to go through the options very quickly. There's not much here to see. The options are not very extensive. Um, there they go. Um, but like I said, the game runs really well. Now, the game is a, is a version of a Ninja Gaiden game that came out in 2004. The Ninja Gaiden game got a bunch of... Um, DLC available to it through Xbox Live, who has the original Xbox Live, now that's no longer there, so you cannot really get that DLC, but Ninja Gaiden Black packages all that DLC into it, except I think one small thing that's missing. Well, now let's uh, jump into the game and I'll show you what uh, the game is and, you know, and uh, demonstrate it to you. So let's uh, jump in here first. In the, in the game you are playing as a ninja who's out there to get revenge, because uh, so, you know, certain evil people attack his clan and they also took uh, magical artifacts from the clan and so now you're trying to... You're trying to kind of... A, you're seeking revenge and you're trying to get the artifact back at the same time so... There's all whole issues there like that. And here we're fighting some ninjas uh, so we're just gonna... And like I said, uh, your goal here is to is to beat the enemies as most uh, well spectacular fashion. You want to deal as much damage, can chain as many combinations as possible. And here we are. We just beat a whole bunch of them here. Overall, visually, the game is pretty good. It's everything's clear. Everything is understandable. The blue orbs that you saw is health. The yellow ones is currency that you use in the game. And the game will not let you go off track, so say if I want to go somewhere here, it won't just let me get in there, like, it's, it's, it, everything's built in such a way that you only can get to areas that you should be gay going to, otherwise you kind of um, won't be able to proceed. Now there's a different ways you can get to different areas, I'm gonna go try to run on the wall here a bit, uh, so in other words I can proceed to this plaza by walking from that area also, but in the end you're gonna end up in the same places where you have been before. Well, you know, have been before, but where you should be. So let's proceed further. And um, the game it, in itself is a is a it's it's not an easy game. It's a it's a hard game. Uh, so you're trying to gonna... ah, I really really doing badly right now. Okay, we didn't need to do that apparently, he was dead already. So, but uh, in some, you know, the game will throw enemies at you all the time, uh, it, things will get harder. And I'm playing this on normal difficulty, there are further difficulties available, but you have to unlock them as you go along. And in some cases, the difficulty is made by the fact that there's not a lot of save points, and so you might have to fight some smaller enemies, then a few other smaller enemies, like uh, in this case, and then you have to fight maybe some kind of a, like a mini bosses type of a situation then you have to fight the boss and be and all you have to do that without being able to save so if you mess up somewhere along the line ah this guy said then uh, you will have to be dealing with all that uh, fact that uh, you have to start restart again and that's what pretty much uh, the game itself is that you constantly is, is you're gonna be starting starting a new uh, in the game and hopefully this guy will kill me now because uh, I want to show you some other areas and other weapons and so there you go we're fighting demons now already that look like you know they generally seems to be referred in the game as dinos well not the game but the community refers them to as dinos as enemies but it's demons so there are other areas so let's go to the last area I've been uh, in previous time previously before I decide to call it quits on the game here it is and here we have a bit of lore. Um, the game presents a certain amount of lore each time during loading screens, and the world is pretty well developed. There's a certain lore, myths, and so on, legends are behind it. Um, the problem is that the story is not there that much, very weak, and that's what actually one of the reasons I'm not I'm not willing to proceed with the game because the story 
it's just not good enough. Like locations are great, like in, the, in different locations, all pretty well made, but just the stories, um, not so good. And here we have a shop. So here I can buy different uh, potions, you know, health restoring, magic restoring potions, arrows, bombs, so on. I can improve my weapons so I can get uh, new abilities with them. For that I need the currency, the currency is those uh, that yellow uh, orbs. And um, as you learn new abilities you can use them and you can uh, look up your abilities by looking in the menu. Here it is and I look at uh, my weapon right now and here different abilities I can do and how I can use them and fight and so on. So that's uh, you can look through it and kind of try to learn those abilities and then you just go ahead and play the play and, and you learn them along the way i think that's the game that's an excellent job of teaching as you play i'm going to skip the cutscene here because uh there you go we can also cut off heads so it's already that uh, we can also cut off arms that's also possible oh okay i should have uh, got a I got, I got hit again. I should, should, should be doing better. Oh, by the way, also, there's besides all these abilities and stuff like that, there's also some other things I can do, and that's this. I can do magic. So, but uh, there's only limited number of uh, magic uh, times I can do. You can see there's a counter on top, uh, and I think I'm just gonna not gonna do so well right now unless I catch that health. There we go. And that's it. But uh, this gives me a chance to actually to show off with some different weapons for you. So we're gonna continue on. Go ahead and uh, there's a few themes in this game. Uh, so one of them is usual, good versus evil. You are on the good side, you're fighting evil and so on. Uh, the second theme that's uh, being kind of shown is the idea that, well, we're gonna use these flails. Is that uh, maybe things uh, the way you go about uh, fighting for good, right? You on the mission for revenge, and while you might have a good reasons for it, the fact the way that you're carrying out, and the fact that it's revenge, it might be, might might not be such a such a good thing after all. Uh, so in other words, it's the idea is that it it is contributing because the revenge itself is a, is is an evil act. It's contributing to evil itself. So it's kind of interesting that uh, it was a theme. So what else to do in the game? Well, besides playing the storyline, well, you can play the storyline on different difficulties. As I mentioned, they get unlocked. As with each difficulty, the enemies, varieties, switches, and um, what you can do in the terms of damage uh, to the enemies uh, is reduced. Uh, how much damage uh, they they deal to you is changes. Uh, also. So from that perspective, it's another thing. Oh, uh, I need to get, get that health. Ah, screw you guys. I'm gonna just uh, deal with you with magic. Oh. And so, there's also additional missions that you can do. The additional missions are just, they just put you in some kind of location, and uh, once you're in that location, you have to just uh, constantly, you just kind of defeat the waves of enemies that they are uh, thrown at you. So that's another thing that's available uh, for you to do. So, what is it that uh, stopping me from continuing on the game? Like I said, the story is not exactly great, but, um, but there's also another element. Like I really enjoy enjoy the fighting because of the you know, how spect spectacular it is. But um, the actually we also should mention that red or orbs are magic. That's what gives me magic back. Um, the other issue here is that this platforming. So we're gonna go into this room, and that's what actually stopped me here. This room uh, features platforming, which is uh, which is a time platforming puzzle. Right. Previously to this, uh, to this area, 
I was in another section of the game where you had to do platforming right before the boss. In other words, uh, you had a save point, and I, like I said, the uh, save points are not frequent. So the save point was right there before. Uh, oh, I got caught right from the start. The save point was right there, you know, uh, before the boss. But to get to the boss, you have to do a bit of platforming. Then if you die to the boss, you have to do the platforming again and so on. And I was kind of getting frustrated with all that. And then I'm going to get killed right now, specifically so that uh, I can show you different weapons. Uh, and then what happened was that... Uh, there we go, we got killed. Is that... You do the platforming, you do the boss again and so on, and that was frustrating. But then when I got to this time platforming, I'm, I was like, no, that's it. Because I went to the guide, I'm like, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm not doing anything wrong. Wrong. I just need to get it uh, in the timing correctly, and I just don't want to try it. Because I'm really not a big fan of platforming, and then I'm looking at the guide, and it's like, oh, there's going to be even more platforming later on. I'm like, oh, you know what? Um, like, it's like, I'm thinking, like, enough is enough at this. Uh, so... That's the reason I decided not to continue on with the game, and we're gonna skip this cutscene again because it's just I just couldn't take it. But that's you know, platforming is my kind of a, my own pe uh, personal preference. I uh, you know I'm not gonna blame the game for it because you are playing as a ninja, so you should be able to do this kind of uh, crazy jumps and uh, you know time puzzles uh, should be no problem for you, right? Uh... Oof, I got cut. So, but uh, from that perspective, and from the fact that all the different elements that are available in the game and how works the, the well they work, I would say that this is a very good game. Like I really, really like it. Uh, now, the fact that you also playing as a ninja, well, that's a that's a, that's a cool, right? Different abilities and weapons and stuff you can do, like wall running and jumping and uh, stuff like that. That's also pretty cool. And then you also get the fact that uh... Ooh, I got killed. Anyway, and then you also add the fact that you're fighting different demons and so in different enemies like that. That's pretty cool. And you got magic. Well, you know, all that combined is you know you gotta say that this is a Sub Zero cool game. But then you're gonna say, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is an Xbox game. It's a console game only, right? And you're saying it's Sub-Zero, but uh, Sub-Zero rating is only open to the PC games, uh, you always say. Well, yes, it's uh, that's true. So why am I giving it? Well, the game is available in a way on PC. There's a there's a, there's a version of the game that's called uh, Sigma. Now, that, that game was created for PlayStation 3. Later on, it now was ported as a part of the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. For Sigma, uh, sorry, Sigma was uh, was released as a Master Guiding Collection on PC. Sigma is different game from Black. It looks, it, you know, it's a visual upgrade because it was made for for the PlayStation console, right? Uh, PlayStation 3. Now, however, it uh, it changed uh, certain elements in the gameplay. It changed certain elements in uh, in what's included. It added some elements. It removed some elements. There's a certain um, kind of a uh, uh, a discussion in community which game is better for what reasons because it's 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 not 100 percent clear if all the changes are for the better or for the worse. But you know a version exists basically a version that can be played on PC. It's also the version that can be played on PC with many elements of the black added in in a way because there are mods that are trying to replicate uh, the, the the elements of black in Sigma basically. So from that perspective, I would say that this game is a is a good game. And they go, I could just cut off an arm. Actually, by the way, I did mention that that's possible, but I was not able to demonstrate. It's a it's it's a very good game, and it's a Sub Zero cool game. Well, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and for listening. If you like this video, please like it. If you didn't like it, the video don't like it, and please follow and subscribe.